In this lesson, we are gonna learn how to factorize trinomials. Now, why am I calling it basic trinomials? Well, what I mean by that is they, these are gonna be fairly uh, introductory level. They're not gonna have any weird things, uh, but we will be looking at the weird things as the lessons progress. But for this lesson, it's just gonna be the absolute basics of how to factorize trinomials. So what is a trinomial? Well, let's break down the word. Um, we know what nomials or like polynomials and monomials and it's just a whole bunch of stuff like um, this, for example, uh, plus 2x to the power of 3. It's just things with x's and stuff, okay? That's nomials. It's, it's just algebra. But the tri part means that there are three terms. Three terms okay so so then okay so then we need three terms so so does that mean that does that mean that this part over here is a trinomial well not necessarily um for something to be a trinomial you need a couple of things okay um number one two of the terms so two terms have variables Okay, so variables are like the letters. Okay, so there's two terms that have letters, so lo that looks good. Number two, um, the exponent on the one variable must be double. Now, this is the key part, must be double the other variable, the other well, the other, uh, let's write this a bit better. The, the exponent on the one variable must be double, um, oh, let me just rather, <laughs> not the one variable. What I mean is um, the exponent in the one term must be double the exponent in the other, must be double exponent in the other term. So if I look at this variable, the exponent is a four, here it's a three, so that's not double. So this is not a trinomial, okay? But now what if I do something like this? X to the power of two, take away three X, take away four. So two terms have variables, uh, yes. Oh, by the way, it must only be two terms. Uh, like it, must, it mustn't be less than two and it mustn't be more than two. So exactly two terms, okay? So there we have it, exactly two terms have variables, yes, and then um, the exponent in the one term must be double the exponent in the other term. Yes, so here's a two and this one's a one. So this is a trinomial. And what I'm gonna teach you to do in this lesson is how to factorize trinomials. So here's our first example. So this is a trinomial, why? Because exactly two of the terms have variables, okay? This one doesn't have a variable, you see? And also, um, this exponent is a two and this one's a one, so it's exactly double. So that's what we're looking for. Now, when you have seen that it's a trinomial, um, I want you to do the following. Write in, okay, wait. Put terms in a specific order. Now, how do we put the terms in a specific order? Um, the highest, so do for the exponents, and I'm gonna show you a whole bunch of examples, but for the exponents, Write them from high to low. So for example, this is a two, this is a one. Because this one doesn't have an exponent, you could think of it as a zero. So there it goes two, one, zero. You see how it goes from high to low? That's what you want. Okay, so everything's good. What we now do is we are gonna make two brackets. Okay, two brackets. There we go. And um, now we're gonna do a couple of things. You're gonna take, and, and there are, different techniques that I'm gonna be showing you along the way. Like for example, sometimes there's gonna be a number over here. But in this example, there's no number over there. So I'm gonna show you, this is the most basic method of what we're gonna do here. You're gonna look at this number, the number that doesn't have a variable. Don't worry about the negative right now, just look at the five. And I want you to think of all the different ways that you could multiply two numbers together to make a five. Now, that's only gonna be five times one. There is no other way. You can't say anything else. Okay, so that's all that we have for this example, and that's what makes this one quite easy. Because in later examples, there's going to be quite a, there's going to be more than one option. Okay, then what I want you to do is say, okay, I have a five and a one, so you have a five, there's a five and there's a one. 
how must we combine a five and a one to make f to make positive four? Like, how do you should you say? You could say you could say five plus one, but that doesn't work because that gives you six. You could say one minus five, but that gives you minus four. You could say five minus one, and that gives us four, and that is exactly what we are looking for. So it's the five minus one. So that means the five is a positive. So let's go put a positive five over there, or you could have put it here, it doesn't matter. And then the one is a negative. So we'll put a minus one over there. Then all that you do is you just say M and M. And that is the answer. How can I prove to you that that is the answer? Let me show you. So is this really the answer? Well, the way that you check is you're gonna go, let's go multiply these two brackets out quickly and let's see if we get back to where we started. Then we know it is correct. So if you had to go use the FOIL method now, FOIL, so that's gonna be first times first, which is M squared. Then um, the O stands for outer, so the two outer ones, that's this one and this one, they are on the outside. So that would be, neg whoa, kev, kev, kev. That would be negative M. And then there's the inners, the inners are these two, so that would be five M. And then there's the last and the last. So the last and the last, and that's minus five. Now check this out. In the middle, you're gonna have minus one plus five. It's exactly what we have here. Just the other way around, doesn't really matter. So what you do is realize that that just becomes four minus five. So you see, we got back to the original. So is this really the answer? Of course it's the answer. I wouldn't lie to you. So that's how you do it, okay? Um, so you would, you would stop here. In the test, you're not gonna go do all of this. I'm just showing you something. Okay, so that's how we're gonna factorize these trinomials. So we've got quite a few examples we're gonna do in this lesson. Here's our next one. Maybe if you want, give it a pause and maybe try this one yourself. So is it a trinomial? Well, yes, two of the terms, exactly two of the terms have variables and this exponent is double this exponent. So that's perfect. And, um, and we've already written it from the highest exponent down to the lowest exponent. So this is a perfect, eventually you're not even gonna have to look at that. Like you're just gonna, I'm assuming you are doing trinomials right now for the first time. So eventually you'll look at this and be like, okay, yeah, that's definitely a trinomial. Um, okay, so what you do is you make two brackets. Okay, you then take the number that has no variable, which is the 20, and you're gonna make you're gonna write out 20, like you're gonna multiply numbers together in all the different ways you can think of to make 20. For example, 10 times two, 20 times one, five times four, okay? You're then gonna think about this number in the middle, minus nine, and you gotta try to think, how can I make minus nine? Well, could you do it by using a 10 and a two? Not really, because if you say 10 plus two, that's 12. If you say 10 minus two, that's eight. If you say two minus 10, that's minus eight. You're never gonna make minus nine. Okay, so that's out. What about this one? Well, that's a 20 and a one. So maybe 20 plus one, that's not gonna work. That's 21. One minus 20, that's not gonna work, okay? But what about this one? Five and a four. Well, if you say five plus four, that's nine, but that's not what we want. We want minus nine. Okay, so what about four minus five? Well, that's minus one. Fine, what about five minus four? That's minus, no, that's positive one. Still not what we want. What about minus five minus four? Ah, that's what you want. So you put the minus five over here and the minus four over there. Then you just take this letter, N and N, and that is literally the answer. That's all you're gonna do, okay? That is how you factorize a trinomial. Okay, so here's our next example. So it's, I'm not gonna go through all the checks of trinomial. Um, you must just do that yourself. Make sure that um, exactly two of them have variables, yes, and then the variables are written from large to small. Okay, that's all that we're checking for. Remember, this one doesn't have any variable, so you can think of it as having an exponent of zero. So what you then do is you realize, okay, this is a trinomial, you make a bracket two brackets, okay? You then look at this number. Don't worry about the negative, just the three. And you just say, how many ways can I make three? Well, there's only one, three times one. Now, taking that three and that one, we need to somehow make minus two. So you could say three minus one, but that's positive two. You could say three plus one, that's four. You could say three, um, I mean, sorry, one minus three, 
uh, that is minus 2. So that's what you are looking for. So the 1, if you look carefully, the 1 is positive and the negative 3 is negative. So you're going to put a 1 as a positive and then you've got a negative 3 over here. And then all that you do is you just say x and x. That's it. I hope by now you're starting to realize that trinomials are actually pretty interesting. Like they're not that challenging. I mean, it does get a bit more weird in future lessons, but if you, you, you have to start with the basics and you build up like that. So here's our next example. So um, it's definitely a trinomial. So I'm going to make two brackets and we're going to take the five and you're just going to say five times one. There is no other way you could make a five. Okay. So now looking at that, um, how do you make minus four? Well, if you say five minus one, that's positive four. That's not what you're looking for. You're trying to make minus four. If you say five plus one, that's six. If you say one minus five, that's negative four. Ah, that's what we want. So the one is a positive and the five is a negative. And then you're going to put an A over here and an A over here. And that's it. You are done. That is how you factorize a trinomial. And then I think let's just do one more example. So this one might look familiar. Uh, you might say, haven't we done this one already? But the one we did had a negative two, whereas this one has a positive two. So it's a little bit different. Okay. So what you do is you take this number here. How many ways can you make three? Well, only three times one. Now, you, you got to try and make this number in the middle, which is a positive 2. So you could say 1 plus 3, but that's 4. You could say 3 minus 1, and that's 2. Ah, but that's what you want. So then you make two brackets, and you say x and x, and then, you say, and then the 3 is a positive, and the 1 is a negative. And that's it. So that's it. That's all we're doing for this lesson. Um, in future lessons, we're going to start adding on extra layers of uh, difficulty, but I'm slowly going to help you to build this up. Okay, we're not going to try to do, yeah, we're just going to build it up lesson by lesson.